okay now we will show you how you will update your source from the trunk in your Eclipse platform under uh, the Java EE view of course initially you will have set up from subclips um, the SVN where you can check out the project and from time to time you may need to update from source as um, changes have been contributed by various people um, you do that by right clicking on the project and selecting team and going click on update and the system will do so and while it's updating the codes and uh, scripts to the trunk uh, you may have your present Adempia instance um, already set up and you may want to um, update it with the latest migration scripts and this is how you do it uh, we are now at 331b trunk and these are the scripts that has been introduced since 331b release and um, there's one very interesting here which is um, this will be the as it says in the name for the ASP or software as a service uh, feature which uh, this um, so we call up our um, toad uh, or any um, SQL editor or database editor here I'm having this for my oracle and I'll just take the script and drop it okay did I have it here all right and so I'll execute it into my database so it's been executed then we can uh, stand by to launch let's go back to the two still executing and the trunk has been updated so we can see ah, that's done without error and as we launch it then here we should be able to see the new feature being updated to it of course um, you will have to compile the trunk to get any Java code into your latest Adempio. But here, the script we just ran are basically for the database. So you can see that they ran successfully just now, and the feature that was done for the ASP model is now here. 